So Mac gaming has come a huge way over the last year, especially with the advent of crossover and game porting toolkits D3D Metal. It's really opened up a whole new world of gaming on a Mac. However, there are a few stubborn games which unfortunately don't work. And these are really, really popular titles, games like Red Dead Redemption 2, Helldivers 2. Lots of titles won't work due to policies around DRM, around anti-cheat, and it looks like compatibility is probably never gonna happen on a local level. However, this is where a service like Boosteroid steps in. So Boosteroid, is an absolutely excellent cloud streaming service which has a huge game library including titles like Fortnite, Call of Duty Warzone, Naraka Blade Point and all of those other games including Dragon's Dogma 2, Horizon Zero West, Helldivers 2 and Red Dead Redemption 2 and plenty of others as well which can all be streamed through this cloud streaming service. So if you haven't heard of cloud streaming before all of these games are being rendered on a cloud server and as long as you have a decent internet connection then you're going to get very close to native local like performance. And basically what's happening is that these games are being rendered on a cloud server and your Mac is going to receive all of the video feeds and you're going to be responding with your mouse and keyboard or using a paired controller like this DualSense controller and as long as your internet connection is decent then it's going to feel very close to local like native performance and although you might feel a little bit of latency it's going to be an acceptable compromise because it's going to be the only way to play all of these excellent games through the Mac for the time being and the performance through Boosteroid is very decent as well. So today I'm going to show you the full tutorial on how to get this running. We're going to be installing the native ARM Apple Silicon Boosteroid app which is going to offer the best performance and most convenient way to access all of these games and how to play them as well as possible through your Apple Silicon Mac. So the first thing that we're going to do is to click the link at the top of the description. Every time that you sign up I'm going to receive a small commission and you'd be helping to support this channel and the content that I create. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and sign up. So just click on the sign in button and if you don't have an account already then just click this button here create an account. Then what we're going to do here is to type in our email address password. So once we've entered those details, we need to go into our email account and we need to click the link that's been emailed to us in order to activate our account. So just go ahead and sign back into your account. So one thing we should check before we actually pay any money is whether your internet connection is fast enough. And handily, once you've signed in, there's a new button on the top right here, which is basically a connection test button. So go ahead and press the start button here. This service is going to work best if you're located near to one of these data centers. For example, this part is North America. And a lot of the servers are also based in Western Europe as well. As long as you're near one of these servers, then you're going to have a decent connection. Here I'm showing getting 65 megabit, which is over the recommended 25. And my latency is 15 milliseconds, which is under the 20 millisecond recommendation. So my connection is good enough. However, if you're not getting a good signal, then I do recommend switching from Wi-Fi to Ethernet. So my MacBook is actually connected by Ethernet at the moment. So this is a USB-C to Gigabit Ethernet hub. And I'm connected to my router via this cable. So this is going to be the best way to actually connect to your local internet. So once we're sure our internet is good enough, what we're going to do is to go back and press the subscribe and play button. So here you have a choice of the standard or the ultra edition. So the main difference is that the standard edition only goes up to 1080p 60 frames per second, but the ultra edition allows you to go up to 4k and 120 fps and more. So personally, I recommend doing a standard edition one month just to try it out, but you will get significant savings if this is the right thing for you. If you actually sign up for a 12 month contract, Contract, this is going to be substantially less. So what I want to do is go ahead and press the subscribe button and then all you need to do is to accept the terms and conditions and then enter your credit card details and then make a payment. Another thing that you should probably do as well is to go into your account details and then go ahead and synchronize your Steam account. So here under Steam we're going to press the connect button here and we need to go ahead and sign into our Steam account in order for these two things to link up. So here I'm going to do is press the sign in button here and now all of these games are now synchronized to the Boosteroid account and many of those games Games can now be played through Boosteroid through cloud streaming. So once you've actually signed up, it's time to actually download the Boosteroid software. So this is going to make it substantially easier to use rather than trying to log in through your web browser. So here at the top, there's an option here, Boosteroid on your device. If you click on this link, it's going to take us to the download Boosteroid page. I will also leave a link to this in the description as well. And since we're running this on an Apple Silicon Mac, we want the native ARM version of the client software. So just go ahead and click on this button, download for macOS M1, M2, or of course M3 as well, and then click save. Then we're going to go ahead and open up Finder and then go to our Downloads folder and then we're going to find Boosteroid install ARM64, double click on this and then we're going to drag and drop Boosteroid into our Applications folder. So within Applications we're going to scroll down until we find our Boosteroid app which we're going to find here and then double click. Here it's saying it's an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure we want to open it? Press open. So here it's asking us to give permission for Boosteroid to accept keystrokes. 
press this button, open system settings. Then under privacy and security and under input monitoring, we're actually going to toggle and allow Boosteroid to accept those keystrokes. Then go ahead and type in your password. Here we're going to press quit and reopen. That's going to go ahead and reopen Boosteroid. If Boosteroid doesn't reopen, just click on Boosteroid again to load it up. So now all we need to do is to go ahead and log into the account that we created and subscribe to. So here's asking us whether we want to share app crash log reports, click allow. And then here we have the change log, press OK. So now I'm going to go ahead and load up our first game. So I'm going to type in Hell Divers 2 into the search bar here. And here it says that a license is required. So we need to go ahead and buy this on a Steam account first. And this is something that I've already done. So if you go to the store.steampower.com website and then do a search for Hell Divers 2, you can see here that I've actually made a purchase of Hell Divers 2. This is going to be the Windows version of the game. Make sure you have this purchased first and then add it to your account. So you need to go ahead and click Buy Hell Divers 2 and then add it to your own account, make a purchase, and then this will be added on there. And then on the Boosteroid app side here, what we need to do is to go back to Helldivers 2 and then click Install and Play. So here it's saying, please wait. So because we have our Steam account synchronized already and we have Helldivers 2 as a license added on here, then this is going to basically automatically connect us up to our Steam account to the Helldivers 2 license, it's saying here, preferring your save data. This connection is basically going to work. So we're going to select my Steam account and we need to go ahead and sign in with our username and password. I'm actually I'm actually going to be using the mobile app on my phone and scan the QR code in order to sign in. So I'm just going to sign in now, accept the sign in request, and then this has started loading up our account in game. So now I'm going to go ahead and accept the end user licensing agreement and our actual Steam window has loaded up. So this is actually the cloud version being streamed through the Boostoid app. I'm just going to close these things down. And it's saying here that Helldivers 2 is loading up in the background. So here we can see all the logos are popping up. Here we're going to select our language. And now Helldivers 2 has loaded up. So as you can see, Helldivers 2 has now loaded up and we're streaming all of this through the cloud. It looks pretty damn good. And we're able to play with keyboard and mouse. So this is looking pretty good, but we can also pair up a Bluetooth controller as well. So this is my Sony DualSense controller and it feels pretty good, very close to near native local like experience especially considering that this is all being streamed through the internet. It's responsive enough to you know, almost fool you into thinking that this is a locally played game. So here I'm just going to show you what the latency is like. So I've got the controller here. I'm just going to aim down sights. And then we're going to pull the trigger. So you can see here, it's quite responsive. It does work and it does feel very close to local like latency. So here I'm in an actual level. I'm just going to show you what the latency is like. So I've got my controller like this. I'm just going to fire a few shots. So it's not quite local latency, but it does feel good. So it's not just the game Helldivers 2 that can be run through Boostroid. Plenty of other titles can work too, including games like Red Dead Redemption 2, which works fantastically. I've also tested the free-to-play game Naraka Blaypoint. Dragon's Dogma 2 also seems to work fantastically. And other very popular titles like Fortnite, as well as Call of Duty Warzone, both with controller and full keyboard and mouse support as well. So anyway, of course, cloud streaming is never going to be as good as playing a game locally, but it's going to be a decent compromise, especially as this is going to be the only way to play many of these games through your Apple Silicon Mac. Anyway, if you find any other good games to run through this service, then please make sure to leave a comment. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.